You don't have time to write a book? In this video, I'm going to turn the tables on everything you thought you knew about writing a book. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. I truly believe that every human being from seven to 107 has a book inside them just waiting to be released. But when I ask people, where's your book? The most common response I get is, I don't have time to write a book. Well, today, I'm gonna to show you how to redefine what it means to have time to write a book. I'm gonna break it down into three simple parts. Number one, redefining what we mean by a book. To be an author, you don't have to write a book that's 100,000 words anymore. Obviously you can, but here in the digital times we live in, you can create a book that's much shorter. In fact, Amazon actually has an entire section devoted to what are called Kindle short reads. A Kindle short read can be as little as one page. Let me say that again. You can create a book that's just one page long. The Kindle short read section is categorized based on page count. The groups are 15 minutes, which is one to 11 pages, 30 minutes, which is 12 to 21 pages, 45 minutes, which is 22 to 32 pages, one hour, which is 33 to 43 pages, 90 minutes, which is 44 to 64 pages, and two hours or more, which is 65 pages to 100 pages. Now I know I threw out a lot of numbers at you and I didn't do it to overwhelm you. Instead, I did it to encourage you. That just by redefining what a book is, you open your mind to so many different possibilities. Number two, redefining what it means to write. Gone are the days where you had to use a pen and paper to jot down your manuscripts. While I still do use pen and paper to write down ideas or even to plot out some of my books, it's now a matter of preference as opposed to a matter of necessity. Technically, you don't even need to use a laptop anymore. You can write a book completely using notepad type apps on your smartphone. There are numerous free text-based apps that you can find for your specific smartphone that you have. People have gotten so efficient at texting these days that for some people, it's actually quicker to type on a cell phone in a notepad type app than typing on a keyboard on a laptop. But what if I told you that you could write a book without even writing or typing a word? That's right, you can use an audio recorder app on your smartphone and dictate your entire manuscript. Then you can just turn around and use a transcription app either for your smartphone or for a laptop and transcribe your audio files. Well, you may have to go back and tweak some of the text and edit it a little bit. That's future use problem. Your job right now is to get the book out of your head and onto paper. And third, redefining what we mean by time. I've heard some authors say that you need to just find the time to write or make the time to write. I completely disagree with both of these philosophies. First, to me, finding the time to write means you've got free time. So find it and use it to write a book. Well, I have a full-time job, a wife and four kids. I don't have free time to find. The other statement, to make time, well, that irritates me even more. It's just to say that if it's important to me, I'll make the time to write a book. That's hogwash. I love writing, but I don't make time for writing. I make time for my family. I make time for my friends. So how do I write a book? I recycle time. I multitask. Remember what I said before about redefining what it means to write? Well, use that same mentality and recycle time. For example, if you have infants or toddlers, chances are they have something called nap time. Now I know that nap time for them usually means for you uh, cleaning, making bottles, doing laundry, and that's fine. But while you're doing those things, why not turn on your audio app on your phone 
and dictate your book. It doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be all in one sitting. To make it even easier on you, you can plug in headphones and put your phone in your back pocket for a hands-free experience. Plus, it lessens the chance of you dropping your cell phone in the sink when you're washing bottles. Now, if you've got older children that don't necessarily take naps, I completely understand where you're coming from. I know what it's like when you feel like the only place you have where you can get some peace and quiet is in the bathroom. So use it. Chances are you probably have your phone with you anyway because we carry them around everywhere we go nowadays. So close down the Facebook app, get off Candy Crush, and open up your notepad and start typing. You probably don't want to use the audio app because talking to yourself while you're in the restroom could be kind of creepy. Um, besides, if you're hiding, talking will give away your hiding spot. And what about singing in the shower? Why not set your phone up on the counter, turn on the audio app, and instead of singing in the shower, read your book in the shower. Dictate it on your audio app. Again, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. You can do little snippets at a time. You know, just make sure you label the files to make it easier to organize later on. Also, while you're at it, make sure that you email these files, whether it's the notepad files or the audio files, to your email. So that way, if something happens to your phone, you still have all of your text in another spot. Well, there you have it. Just by tweaking your definition a little bit, you can turn the phrase, I don't have time to write a book, into, I wrote a book in no time. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone else who you think will benefit from it. And remember, if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. I'm Keith Wheeler, and until next time, remember to write right.